You know, it's, it's weird, Brian. I want to get your take on this. Your team won 100 games last year, and a lot of things went wrong, and you won 100 games. And there's a perception that you have to do an awful lot. And I, I thought that going into that Red Sox series, I, I picked the Yankees. I thought the Yankees could beat the Red Sox. I don't think there's that much of a difference. So do you go into this offseason just because the Red Sox won 108 games and, and won the World Series that you really have to just reload this team, or do you just have to tweak? You know, I, we're always wanting to impact this in a really, you know, positive way. So I know we won 100 games. Uh, I would say as, as you enter that process, you have to recognize it's pretty impossible to improve on a 100-win team. You know, the law of averages are going to pull that down, and that was already with the team in front of us that won more than we did, and that was the Boston World Champion Red Sox. You know, our team has been knocked out now. Uh, the last two seasons by the eventual world champion, the Houston Astros two years ago and the Red Sox last year. And, and you know, we got to find a way to continue to, to, to find the right mix that can play together, you know, for the for the long haul and the short term and, you know, to deliver the championship. And so I, I, it's, I guess the best way to answer that is, is when the dust settles, I want to import, whether, whether it's trade or free agency, enough talent that can connect with the current talent that's going to be good enough not to just make the playoffs, but to, to be the last one standing and, and be hoisting a championship uh, trophy at, at Yankee Stadium or on the road. If we happen to be in a position to win one, do it on the road. So, you know, how that manifests itself, we'll see. Uh, we have a lot of talent on this roster that I think we should be very proud of that, that if we can add to it, it's got a shot. And, uh, you know, the last two years we've had a shot, and we want to keep adding to that opportunity. And maybe one of these years, then, you know, we'll push through. And Duhar was such a special player offensively this year. How do you feel about his defense? Can it get better? Do you expect it to get better? Yeah, I definitely expect it to get better. He's, you know, uh, he, there's a number of different things. First, you know, athletically, he is a strong athlete, you know, but he's not. You know, a lot of times when you're talking in this category, uh, you're talking about a player that people would say, hey, he's more likely a first baseman or DH because of body type. That's not the case here. Um, he is very young. Uh, he's still developing. He, as you all recall, we projected him to be big league ready by 2019. He, uh, he came earlier than we expected. But that didn't mean he was a finished product, despite being in, finishing second in the rookie of the year. Um, so, uh, I, without question, I think there's going to be better days ahead and more improved defense. His defense was good enough to be a participant on the 101 uh, team and, and second in the rookie of the year. And But it's an area that needs to be improved, and he will improve it. The combination of his skill set, his body type, and his dedication. He is a dedicated person. He's always been that way. Um, so that's going to allow him, usually those players that have that type of you know, engagement with wanting to improve, which he does. His makeup is off the charts. That you know, that's a recipe for someone that's going to close the gap on on any areas of weakness on the offense and defensive side. So, you know, we look for you know an improved and better player as we move forward, and we're lucky to have him.